Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is going to focus on using the Y Editor screen and your graphing screen on your graphing calculator. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Y equals button in the top left hand corner of my graphing calculator to bring up this screen right here. This is my Y Editor screen. I use this screen to plug in any equation that I would like to see on my graphing screen. So let's go to the graphing screen right now. To get to the graphing screen, you press the graph button in the top right hand corner of your graphing calculator. I press it and you'll notice that some axis will come up but there's no graph on there right now that's because I have not entered anything into my Y editor screen yet so let's do that now I'm gonna go back to my Y editor hit my Y equals and I'm gonna enter in two equations the first equation that I'm gonna enter is negative 2x plus 6 and the second equation that I'm going to enter is x squared minus 7x plus 10. Now this first equation is a linear equation so my graph will be a line. The second equation that I have entered in here is a quadratic equation and my graph will be a parabola. So let's see what the graphing screen has to show us. Go back to my graphing screen. There's my line and there's my parabola. And you'll notice that the, um, the order that I enter these equations into my Y editor the graphing calculator will graph it in the same order on the graphing screen. My line came up first and my parabola came up second. The next little trick I'd like to show you is how to turn on or off the graph on the graphing calculator. To do this we must go back to the Y editor screen by hitting the Y equals button and I'm going to arrow over, use my left arrow, to arrow over the equal sign on my first equation. If I hit enter and arrow back to my equation, you'll notice that the equal sign is not highlighted anymore. When the equal sign is not highlighted, this graph will be turned off. When it is highlighted, this graph will be turned on. So when I go back to my graphing screen now, I should only see my parabola. Let's see what happens. And there you go. As you can see, the line was not graphed because I turned that off my parabola was graphed because that one was left on. The next thing I'd like to show you on the graphing calculator is how to bring up a table for an equation that you just graphed. As you can see, um, this parabola is left over from my previous section with you. If I go back to my Y editor screen, it's my Y2, the x squared minus 7x plus 10. Now bring, to bring up the table for this equation, I can just hit second, graph and you'll notice that the second function to graph is table and this table appears. Now remember that I turned off my linear equation my y1 in the previous section and it's not appearing on the table. If I want to let's see uh, the table for both of my equations at one time I just need to go back to my y editor, arrow back over to my equal sign, hit enter, arrow back off it just to make sure that it's on and you can see that both these equations are on and if I go back to my table by going second graph now I have the y values for both equations. Now so a couple things about the table is if you want to look at values uh, below 0 or above 6 you can use your arrow buttons to arrow up or I could go back down if I wanted to and you can see we could pick out a whole um, range of values that we want to look at. 